Hello, my name is Stefan Rettenberger with Ad for Optical Networking. Today I'm joined by our company's CTO, Christoph Glinger. Christoph, good morning. Hello, Stefan. Early in the year, um, we launched our new Agile Core Express solution, a new long-haul optimized flexible core solution using 100 gig coherent technology, etc. Can you tell me a little bit more about the company's 100 gig technology as a whole? Sure. So the Agile Core Express, first of all, contains 100 gig coherent technology. That technology is optimized for long reaches up to 2,500 kilometers, together with the whole Agile Core Express layer. But there's not only long haul and core transmissions, there's also metro and regional distances, distances like 200, 300, 500 kilometers. For those distances, it is our opinion that we need a different technology for that to be more cost op optimized, basically more cost efficient than the 100 gig coherent, which is cost efficient in the core. For that, we have launched a regional, a metro regional 100 gigabit solution, which is also showcased here. Okay, so we're staying true to Adfa's heritage, being a best-in-breed Metro WDM player with good solutions for Metro and regional distances. I assume that 100 gig gives me still an advantage regarding spectral efficiency compared to a 10 or 40 gig? Solution. Absolutely, absolutely. This has a better spectral efficiency than 40 gigabit or, for that matter, 10 gigabit solutions. Okay, so it looks like um, there's a pretty good, complete and comprehensive set of 100 gig. I have to ask you the question, of course, what comes after 100? So after 100 gigabit, there are basically several options. First of all, we can stay fixed with the data rate, as we always did, and talk about 400 gigabit or 1 terabit solutions. If I just stay on this one for a second, I believe we should skip the 400 gigabit and directly move to a terabit. This is basically enabled, and the 100 gigabit coherent technology is enabled by going digital and then doing signal processing in the electrical domain. With the, the silicon evolution and revolution, by ever getting smaller in terms of, of sizes and CMO sizes and so on, we can think about doing that at one terabit. But it won't be really efficient at 400 gigabit and that has to do with the different modulation formats and coding schemes one can use. So we, you won't really gain a lot in terms of spectral efficiency. If you want to gain in spectral efficiency, you have to move to one terabit. Okay. But that is only the answer if we only discuss fixed data rates. I think what we actually really should do is move to something I would call software-defined optics. Now, what does that mean? Software-defined optics basically means that we can flex the bandwidth, the data rate. Right? So we can basically go from 100 to 200 or go back down to 50. Do that in what is called adaptive modulation in a hitless manner. So there are no bit error rates connected or bit, error, bit errors connected to that when you change the data rate. Right? And basically what you then can do, you can optimize reach and performance with data rate. Okay, so if I understand it correctly, it's the same set of hardware, and by software command, you can adjust capacity or reach, depending on what the network requirement is? Yes, absolutely. With the Agile Core Express layer, we launched a flexible layer in the wavelength domain. It is fixed at the data rate, and if we add the software-defined optics later, then that will mean that we basically have another degree of freedom, which is data rate within a channel. Okay. It looks like you're giving us enough material and interesting ideas to come up with our next marketing campaign. I appreciate all the insight and information. For those of you who would like to learn more about Adfa Optical Networking's products and solutions, please visit our website at www.adfaoptical.com. Thank you.